Hey, welcome back to the, today's video. Oh, to, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you oh, how, how to oh, get the calibrated skulks, and I'm going to be showing you some stuff about them. And we're also going to be building a redstone contraction, redstone contraction, you know, with the calibrated scope sensors. So first off, you can see my Minecraft launcher. Uh, if you go to heal, usually it'll be on last release 1.19.4, but uh, if you're gonna hit, click on the last snapshot 23w14a. Okay, so, and then you hit play. And I'll see you in a sec once we get in. So here I am back. I cool in. You can see you down here. You know, Minecraft uh, 23w14a snapshot. So we're going to go to single player. And... Uh, and then I'm just gonna I pick the wall I want, and it's regular for there to be that thing right there. You know? So I am going to go into my world every time I jump, and the door opens. So. See that? The door opened when I jumped. You can see I'm in here. That's a little bit of an issue. Oh, and it also activates when you drop an item. Usually that would not happen. Okay, so now time to get into the redstone. And hang on a minute. I'll be back in this in a moment. I'll fix that. Just give me a sec. So right now it's at a frequency of two different frequency in the lectures causes the a calibrated score sensor to sense for different things. I'll show you the redstone. Oh, and this is the first time I'm, I'm, I have been playing in Java Edition. All the past videos you've seen me do have been in Bedrock Edition. This is the very first Java edition mission video. You can see the electron and the frequency impulse into the calibrated skulk sensor. Then I basically just have the western web here. Then you just have your stuff in normal redstone system. Um, so, uh, oh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a door with the calibrated skulk sensor. Right over here. And yes, that is my camel, camel barn. It's not completely done yet, but I am working on it. So, first we're gonna Go to the redstone. You can see the skulks and 
calibers, skulks, and so. Then we're going to need a lexion. And. Oh, I guess we already have. And then you're gonna need a book, book and a quill. And also, most likely, a wapito. Redstone torch and couple sticky pistons. So, uh, we are going to make it. So, our first off, and stuff, we are going to start with the away angular. So, first off, uh, now for the people that play Java Edition that does Redstone, they're probably going to know how, how to build a simple Redstone door. And if you don't, this will be your first time learning. So, oh, first off, you're gonna place some sticky pistons, right? So, four of them, so four of them in a two by two pattern and then we're going to place two right next to them then we're gonna place whatever material you're gonna be using and then two blocks away from it we're going to copy that copy it you see and just uh this you can see it's in the same spot it's they have to be in the same spot or it will be an uneven uh, one and I'm also new to java edition i haven't been playing java edition for very long i have played a bedrock edition for about two to three e to four years but at at um i've only been playing java edition for uh, less than one year. Yeah, I'm excited for the new update. So basically, what I did when I was talking is just place two blocks in of of whatever blocks you're gonna use right in front of of the uh, sticky pistons and then I'm going to just place blocks across the top just like this comment down below if you would like me to do more redstone video those are back out, out. Uh, the calibrated skulk sensor. And so, if you do, oh, just leave a like, 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 on this video. Yeah. Then, I basically just put uh, two repeaters two blocks away right in the gap right here uh, and then I'm just gonna put redstone on the ends and 
add redstone in the middle and then over here I'm going to place some oopsies I'm basically just gonna place them along the edge like this oh oopsies I meant for placing two blocks out and then do it and it's one block high that's all needed and then I'm gonna place the redstone. Uh, oh, and you also make sure to have to put the redstone two pieces. At least both of them are take of one. Usually a take of two, three, or four. Oh, I'm gonna be doing on a take of two. Uh, and then you just put uh, the torch, resin torch in one of those two. Oh, oopsie. You, you should actually put them, like, facing away from the middle, not towards it. And then, once you do that, if you come over here, it should just be a wall. And then, and so basically, you're just going to map the redstone around here. And then behind over here, you're probably going to put it a block away just so the redstone doesn't distort, but though that was the sticky pistons over there and then so basically we're just gonna put the lecture down right here and then we're gonna put a uh, comparator facing this way and then the calibrated scope sensor with that purple thing facing towards it so basically what uh, the calibrated scope has that not that uh, none other things have uh, that regular scope sensors don't have so basically e e So basically, it, it won't detect blocks being placed down, so you can see that. Okay, maybe without a frequency it would, but once I put this on here, you know, you can look and have 10, you can switch it, you can have many as you want. Uh on page two that'd be a frequency of two that won't detect any blocks or anything you see or me walking around but if i jump it will detect it or if i drop a block then it should detect it See? So then, and, uh, you, and uh, the another thing you should do, and uh, also, so you should uh, check out Mumbo Jumbo's video. Uh, he has some cool stuff on this, 
is he, I bet he could get you more information than I could. But you should check his out. I still encourage you to watch my videos. But he's a great creator. And the only reason I'm doing this video today is because as of uh, of uh, Mumbo Jumbo's video I saw. So uh, make sure to leave, make sure to smash that like button. A ten, a ten, a ten, a ten, and also go check out Mumbo Jumbo's videos. So basically, you can see this different skull, different pages will will send different vibrations. So that will be listening for something else and i think a frequency of 13 mm, or maybe some close to 13 with make it only listen out for or like when a block is being placed least i'll on a different video it's not today i'll add more information but now you can see if I jump, why? Right, so you're basically going to have to extend this. And why you're going to have to do that is because as it doesn't have a strong, strong enough frequency. So you go in it to need to it it will put a what petal petal in right here and then you can just hook it back up and now that should do it. So now, oh wait, I forgot to switch it back to two. So on page two, if I jump, oh, that makes sense. So I made an error code, so basically, it wasn't going into it, so I just so that basically just means I have to loop around back here, which is simple enough. So like that, now it should work. So if I jump. Nothing's jumping. So basically, it's not very useful because whenever something even falls, it's going to activate. Like that bunny over there, that's the thing that's activating. Maybe it's not, but. Maybe the rabbit is doing it. But. I recommend it's not a good idea just because of how often just mobs jump. And if you get stuck in here, easy fix. So let's say you get stuck in here. Now you don't. Well, let's say you got stuck in there. There's a new solution if you just try jumping in there. Right. It will like let you out. So, so it's so the calibrated scroll sensor is super cool. Right. See you next time. Until then, bye.